right, well, we're gonna try something here today. I've got another one of these old chickens, and I mean old. Um, this thing was a three-year-old laying hen, I think. And you know, when they say tough year old bird, or tough old bird, they mean tough old bird. Now, shortly after I butchered these birds, I attempted to um, roast one in the oven. Um, I attempted to do one in the oven, and I roasted it for like, I don't know, an hour and a half in the oven, something like that. And it tasted good, but it was tough, unbelievably tough. Really not dried out, just tough. Uh, so I'm gonna try something new today. Um, got my Instapot set up, and I am by no means an Instapot guru. This is the second time I'm gonna use this thing. Um, so all I've done, is throw a cup of water in the bottom with some seasoning, and I'm gonna use the same seasoning and rub it all over the bird. And then I'm gonna throw it in here and just set that puppy on meat stew and crank it and see what happens. Uh, I read a couple of recipes on how to do whole birds in the crock pot. The problem is those aren't going to be an old tough laying hen. So I'm certain I'm going to have to cook it longer. I just don't know how much longer. So I'm going to kind of use those recipes as a baseline. It was something like six minutes per pound. This is, oh, maybe three to four pounds. Fatty old girl, wasn't she? Three to four pounds. So we'll go with, I don't know, 30 minutes to start with. And, um, I don't know, I guess I'll have to kind of check it with a fork or something at that point and see how it looks. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get it rubbed up, get it thrown in the pot here, get it going, and I will let you know what I figure out. All right, so got her slabbed up with some seasoning for what it's worth. I just did some uh, mesquite seasoning and then just some general chicken rub. Uh, it ought to be plenty because I've also got the seasoning in the water, so as that starts to steam off, it should put some flavor into the meat. I made a mistake years ago of putting way too much water in the crock pot when I cooked something. Um, I cooked a rabbit actually in a crock pot, put way too much water in and it ended up leaching a lot of the flavor out of the rabbit. So really important to put some water, but not a lot of water. Uh, so just a little bit of water in the bottom and I've got that little screen underneath of it to, to help hold it up. And then I actually had a bunch of seasoning in, in the bowl. So I just ran just a little bit more water into there, sloshed it around and poured all that seasoning in here too. So didn't put anything to waste. But anyway, <clears throat> let's get our lid thrown on here. Lock down and then meat. I don't know what that means. 50? Sure, fine. Ah, start. Ah, on. Okay, I guess it's doing a thing. Not kidding. Second time I've used it, so I don't even really know what I'm doing on <laughs> starting it. Said it's on, so I guess we'll let it go. Okay, well, I did uh, 50 minutes and it's at least tender enough that it pulled apart. I went to pick it up out of the pot and one of the legs just ripped off when I pulled it out of the pot. Um, so I'm gonna sit down with the family here, have some dinner, and I will let you know afterwards if it was tender or not. Well, I'll just tell you guys what happened here. So um, I ate the first part of it last night. Actually, this is next day at lunch. I ate one of the legs last night. And it's actually, it, it, it's good. It's, um, still make it a little tough and I mean you can't expect it to be like super tender juicy you know eight week to maturity uh, Cornish cross and this thing was three years old uh, you can see just all around a lean chicken I and mean, here's here's our boneless skinless breast it's this little this little bit um, but basically you know this is the sort of chicken that you just go savage on you just cook the whole thing and just eat it off the bones because you try to piece it out there's not a whole lot left <laughs> Um, but yeah, an hour in the pressure cooker, that did it as far as, you know, tender. Um, I'm not really a fan of the flavor just because I don't like roasted chicken. I like barbecue chicken. It's very, very dry. <laughs> so, got some Franks. Slap it on here, maybe some barbecue sauce. That'll make it edible. But the 50 minutes in the pressure cooker definitely worked as far as getting it tender enough that it wasn't like chewing on leather. So that'll work. I got a few more in the freezer I want to get cooked up. They've been in there over a year. I need to just get them out of there, get them used. Um, I'm probably the only one in the family that's going to eat them, so it's going to be one of those things where I just got to cook one and eat it, and everybody else will get to eat something good, like I don't know, pizza or, or fried chicken, and I'll be gnawing on this old bird. But anyway, it's the way it is. Just figured I'd give you guys that um, closing statement, if you will. So if you got some old hens that you're thinking about putting in the freezer, um, Definitely the pressure cooker will work.